What'd you miss? The television industry is reinventing itself for the digital age. And at the helm of one of the biggest content companies, Time Warner's Turner, is CEO John Martin. He's applying data and technology to refine Turner's channels, which includes CNN, TBS, and the Cartoon Network. I recently sat down with him for the monthly Cornell Tech at Bloomberg Speaker Series. And in this part of our conversation, we discussed uh, the return of advertising money to television from digital. Digital is still growing quickly. I mean, mm -hmm. our digital businesses, whether it's CNN or Bleacher Report, they have some of the strongest growth rates in advertising across our company. So, but there's, a, there's definitely a fight for share. And, and let's face it, in the digital world, it's almost an oligopoly, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, nearly two thirds of all digital ad dollars are going to two companies, Facebook and Google, and they're probably taking 85% of the growth in digital. And I think what's been called into question somewhat a little bit is the efficacy of the metrics with which they've been selling advertising against. But what's really happening here is there's an arms race going on, and it's almost a race to the middle. If you're a company like ours, a premium content company, we're trying to develop the digital capabilities that we can go to advertisers and guarantee them audiences and return on investment and really be able to report out in a specific way to make sure that they're comfortable that their marketing messages are reaching the consumers that they thought they were going to. And, and that gets back to the technology investments that we've been making and, mm -hmm. and the impact that data is going to have in really revolutionizing the way that we're going to be able to monetize those audiences. On the flip side, the, the big digital companies are doing the exact opposite, which is they're trying to get into premium content, whether that's YouTube or whether it's Facebook. And it's a, we're calling it internally at, at Time Warner and Turner, it's a race to the center. Mm. Who's going to get there faster? Can, can TV pick up the best of what has made digital distinctive and different and in the eyes of advertisers a really terrific buy versus you know, can, can the digital players get their hands on enough premium content that they can convince the advertisers to continue to go in their direction? Look, there's gonna be plenty of money to go around everywhere, but I like the chances of TV with the reach that we have, the brand friendly environment, and the immersive, incredible emotional connection that we have to storytelling. And the scale is what the advertisers like as well. One thing though that can be frustrating for any TV viewer, um, if you're watching linear TV, the commercials are long, they're boring. Even when you're watching it on demand, you can't get past it quickly enough. You mm -hmm. can't even fast forward through them anymore. Mm -hmm. How do you address that? We're gonna reduce the number of commercials per hour. Really? Yes, so this is the challenge. Uh, it's the challenge and the opportunity. Because I agree with you, again, why has Netflix risen so much in terms of popularity and why has Hulu risen so much? You can binge Because watch. there's too much advertising clutter on traditional television. Mm -hmm. um, so we have announced on one of our networks, True TV, we've already taken a commercial ad load down in half. And I w we started that in the fourth quarter of last year. We've been revenue neutral to up so far. So you may ask yourself, well, how is that possible? We've also reduced the commercial loads <laughs> on a number of our original programs on TBS and TNT. Are you doing more programming? What's, how are you so feeling we're, it? So we're, we're making our programming longer. Mm -hmm. And so the way that we think we can make up for the reduced ad loads is we gotta make the advertising better, more contextually relevant. We believe that our ratings are actually higher as a result of having reduced ad loads. In other words, if you looked at minute by minute ratings on traditional ad supported cable, Commercial starts, ratings go down, and then when the commercial ad pod is done, you hope that the ratings come back to where they were when you went into the ad pod. Well, if you have fewer commercials, you have higher engagement, higher average audience levels, and your ratings go up. Uh, we've also done some research that seems to indicate that if you make your advertisements more relevant and contextual, and I'll come back to that in a second, what does that mean? Mm -hmm. um, and you reduce the number of them, recall of the ads go up, at least 10%. So you have higher ratings, higher recall, and then if anybody watched a March, anybody watched like basketball, March Madness? Anybody? Okay, a few people. You all, you got to turn into, tune into sports more. <laughs> um, we were putting on advertisements during the March Madness basketball tournament that had Charles Barkley in them, Samuel Jackson, Spike Lee. People, like, these were engaging, funny, advertisements and as premium content as in its premium own right. content in its own right and so we now have studios internally at Turner where we're producing our own advertising what we're kind doing, of investment does does that take it's a, well I mean it, it costs a little dough but we're a big company <laughs> we're <all> right. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, what you're describing sounds like a Super Bowl ad where people stick around to it's watch like the ads. like 12 months of Super Bowl ads, basically. <laughs> 12 months of Super Bowl ads. Um, well, that's what it's going to have to because ad-supported television is not going to be able to sustain if you continue to interrupt the, the, uh, the television shows with, you know, very quick spots and dots commercials. It has, there's been so much innovation in distribution, in, in, in programming, and there has not been a lot of innovation in advertising. And I think over the next five years, there'll be as much or more innovation in advertising than any of the other areas of the business.